Well, what I want to say, first of all, is this is a really important day for the steel sector in the UK, uh, with government showing it its firm and bold commitment to the future of steel making here in the UK. And what is it going to get for its money, Ian, you ask me? Well, a truly transformation of our sector uh, to produce steel uh, for the net zero economy, net zero steel, which our customers are asking us for. And so therefore, we have the ability to completely transform our sector to boost the net zero economy in the UK, uh, deliver on our customers' needs, but also to really seize the opportunity of um, increasing production in the UK, increasing exports, reducing imports, because we all know that a net zero economy needs more steel, not less. Now, according to the Financial Times, Tata Steel was originally looking for billions in subsidies. The fact that they've settled for less than 500 million, I mean, rather suggests that they don't really need that much support at all and that they were just sort of trying to shake the government for a bit of money. Well, any taxpayer's money needs to be well spent. And so, therefore, it, it, this is about a partnership. It's not about a partnership with one announcement today. It's a long-term partnership with all companies in the steel sector, with government. That's what we want to see. A year ago, we published our net zero uh, roadmap, our ambition for the whole sector, not just one company, the whole sector to get to net zero. We partnership with government to deliver that, the detail of that. And that's what today's announcement for the whole sector is all about. It's about the government understanding uh, the scale of investment that we need. You know, if we look at the UK uh, capacity in blast furnace at the moment, it's something like 9 million tonnes. To transform that to electric arc furnace, for example, would cost a whopping £3.6 billion. So this is the start of investment for our sector, not the start and finish today. Uh, and that's why today is so important. We've just had official confirmation, Gareth, from Tata Steel. They're going to be investing one and a quarter billion, 500 million of which will be coming from the uh, UK government. I mean, the UK steel industry, it's not very clear that it actually has a competitive advantage anymore. Some people would ask, do we actually even need a steel industry in this country? Huh. Well, competitiveness is this is crucial. Crucial. We need the investment to transform, so we need the capex, and then crucially, without OPEX, as in without having a competitive business landscape in the UK for a steel company to be able to compete in a global market. 43% of all steel produced outside China travels across borders. It's highly traded, and therefore we have to be as competitive as we can be to be able to compete in our home market in Europe and globally. But the opportunities are there. Global demand for steel is increasing, and therefore we in the UK can now move forward become more competitive, uh, make that investment and deliver on that opportunity. Some people would say, though, uh, this is an industry that's always got its hand out. I mean, if you take, for example, Credit Suisse, big investment bank in the Canary Wharf, they're laying off thousands of people who probably earn a good deal more than the average steel worker. I've seen no special pleading for them for subsidies. What is it that about steel that turns ministers' heads? This is not about special pleading. This is about steel sectors right across the globe working with their governments in partnership. We've seen it in other countries, in France and Germany, in Canada, in the US. No steel company anywhere in the world, sorry, not steel company, no steel sector anywhere in the world can make that transition from high carbon to low carbon net zero without significant co-investment from government. It's not happening anywhere in, else in the world. And I'm glad that today marks that start of the partnership here with industry and government to get to net zero. That's our ambition. That's what we published a year ago.